it is crucial to understand what significant molecules are. The Large Hadron Collider, LHC, operated by CERN, is a 17-mile ring of superconducting magnets and the largest, most powerful atom smasher in existence. It represents the pinnacle of human intellectual achievement. In fact, it's so powerful that it can recreate the very conditions of the universe's birth. Yet, could this machine, designed to unlock the secrets of the cosmos, hold the key to something potentially more hazardous? Founded in 1954, CERN is one of the world's most prestigious research institutions, consisting of 23 member states and numerous scientists. It serves as a hub for collaboration and innovation. The LHC is CERN's flagship project, but it is just one component of an extensive network of accelerators and experiments. Imagine a track not for vehicles, but for subatomic particles, a test of skill and endurance in the cosmos. At the LHC, protons are accelerated to nearly the speed of light, sending them on a collision course that mimics the energy of the universe at the time of the Big Bang. The resulting impacts generate temperatures several times hotter than the core of the sun. A multitude of magnets directs the protons on their journey, while intricate cooling systems maintain the magnets at temperatures colder than space itself. The beams within the LHC are designed to collide at four points around the accelerator ring, corresponding to the locations of four particle detectors, Atlas, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB. Each detector serves a unique purpose, exploring different aspects of particle physics. Together, they function as colossal cameras, capturing images of these collisions. Researchers then sift through the debris, searching for evidence of the elusive Higgs boson, also known as the God particle, and other anomalies, which could provide clues to the fundamental building blocks of the universe. By examining the microcosm, we gain insights into the macrocosm. Yet, with every answer comes another question, and with each revelation, another challenge. The LHC is not merely a scientific instrument. It embodies human curiosity and progress. It epitomizes our relentless pursuit of knowledge and our desire to understand the fundamental forces that shape our universe. However, as we push the boundaries of our understanding, we must also consider the ethical and existential dilemmas that arise in the hallowed halls of CERN, where the limits of human comprehension are constantly tested. A startling revelation has emerged, sending a chill through even the most seasoned scientists. Brian Cox, a former researcher at CERN and a prominent voice in particle physics, recently made a statement that has left the world both fascinated and alarmed. His words resonate with alarming clarity. The aim of CERN's Large Hadron Collider is to recreate a miniature Big Bang. Yes, you heard that right, a scaled-down version of the very event that birthed our universe. The physicist also elaborated on the implications of this goal, emphasizing the LHC's extraordinary potential for new discoveries, including unlocking the mysteries of the Higgs boson and investigating dark matter, a mysterious substance that constitutes a significant portion of the universe. Imagine holding the power of creation in your hands, the ability to invoke the very essence of the universe. It's an enticing prospect, yet one fraught with danger. The miniature Big Bang is not just a theoretical concept. It's a tangible reality within the LHC. The temperatures, the pressures, the raw energy all replicate the conditions of the universe's early stages. It's akin to standing at the dawn of recorded history, witnessing the inception of existence itself. However, with such power comes responsibility, and the question looms, what if something goes awry? In fact, something did go horribly wrong back in 1978. The Russian physicist Anat Borsky encountered a disaster that would forever alter the trajectory of his life. While working on the U-70 synchrotron at the Institute for High Energy Physics in Dubna, Russia, a glitch caused his head to inadvertently come into the direct path of a proton beam. The beam, with a force that defies comprehension, passed through his skull, entering through the back of his head and exiting through his nose. Borsky's experience was extraordinary. He witnessed a flash brighter than a thousand suns, yet felt no pain. The beam's path resulted in a trail of destruction, incinerating tissue and bone. Yet, he remained conscious and even walked to the facility for treatment. The outcome was both astonishing and unsettling. The beam's trajectory caused localized tissue death, 
leading to hearing loss in one ear and partial facial paralysis. Yet remarkably, Borsky's cognitive abilities remained intact, and he continued his scientific career. This incident is not merely a personal tragedy. It serves as a cautionary tale, highlighting the immense power and potential risks of particle accelerators. The dangers associated with an atom smasher like the LHC are not to be taken lightly. The possibility of unforeseen reactions and the very fabric of reality being manipulated are not just science fiction but genuine concerns voiced by some in the scientific community. The mysteries of the universe are not only intriguing but also wield tremendous power. One of the most disconcerting and fascinating concerns associated with the LHC's experiments is the potential for creating a miniature black hole. Black holes are regions of space-time where gravity is so intense that not even light can escape. They are cosmic vacuum cleaners, the devourers of stars, enigmatic entities lurking in the shadows of our universe. The prospect that the LHC could produce such an entity, even on a minuscule scale, is astonishing for both the general public and scientists alike. Could this black hole eventually grow uncontrollably, consuming the Earth from within? However, researchers at CERN assure that any black hole produced would be unstable and would dissipate almost immediately. The mere possibility has sparked discussions, fears, and a sense of wonder regarding the power we wield. To comprehend how the LHC could create a black hole involves understanding the fundamental mechanics of particle accelerators. When protons collide at nearly the speed of light, the energy released is immense, distorting the very fabric of spacetime. Imagine a taut trampoline and then dropping a heavy weight onto it. The fabric bends, and if the weight is substantial enough, it could create a well so deep that anything nearby would be drawn into it. This is a simplified analogy for what could occur in the LHC, in the realm of quantum physics, where the laws of the universe are both peculiar and magnificent. There exists a theory that additional dimensions may be hidden within our reality. If these dimensions exist, the LHC's collisions could exploit them, creating a gravitational well that forms a tiny black hole. This intricate dance of particles has even drawn the attention of renowned scientists, including the late Stephen Hawking. In his writings, he warned of a scenario where the Higgs boson could become unstable at extremely high energy levels. This instability could lead to a catastrophic vacuum decay, an event that wouldn't merely obliterate the Earth but potentially the entire universe. The esteemed English cosmologist and astrophysicist Sir Martin Rees expressed his concerns regarding the tests conducted at CERN in his book On the Future of Humanity. He explored the potential dangers associated with particle accelerator experiments, including those at CERN. His words were not just cautionary. They carried a sense of existential dread. He discussed a worst-case scenario where a disastrous experiment could create a condition known as vacuum instability. This instability could theoretically trigger a phase transition that would ripple through the very fabric of space-time, resulting in a cosmic catastrophe that could engulf the entire universe. Rees's concerns were not confined to theoretical musings. He assigned a likelihood to these disastrous outcomes, albeit a low one. However, he argued that even an infinitesimal chance should prompt us to pause and reflect. The stakes are exceedingly high, and the margin for error is razor-thin. Researchers at CERN have calculated the probabilities, run simulations, and scrutinized the theories to advocate for the safety of the LHC. In fact, Brian Cox himself acknowledged the importance of thorough investigation, recognizing the myriad fears and concerns surrounding the operation of the LHC. He emphasized that rigorous safety measures are in place, with extensive reviews and protocols ensuring that the LHC's operations are conducted with the utmost precision. Cox reassured that the energies involved are well within what the Earth naturally experiences, and the chances of creating a stable black hole are astronomically low. Even if one were to be formed, scientists assert it would be so small and unstable that it would vanish almost instantly, releasing a phenomenon predicted by Stephen Hawking known as Hawking radiation. It would be a fleeting moment of boundless wonder, a brief glimpse into the void and then gone. Some have speculated further proposing that the LHC's experiments could open a portal to another universe or dimension. This notion, however, largely dismissed by established scientists, has captivated the imagination of many and become a topic of intrigue, fear, and even legend. What lies beyond our universe? 
might we inadvertently unleash forces or entities that we do not comprehend. The idea of opening a gateway to another realm has even been sensationalized in various media outlets.